Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop retouching tutorial. I'm celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video, we're going to be getting into a male skin retouching, skin retouching and also color grading tutorial. So before we get into it, I'm going to ask you to do one thing for me and that's hit below and click that subscribe button to become a part of my family, the photo family. So right now, let's get into it. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do when we get into the retouching uh, the retouching process, one thing that I like to do is go in and analyze what needs to be done in the particular image. So this is a pretty clean result, but it's things that I would like to clean up. Maybe if it's a little skin uh, blemish or if it's just cleaning out some areas of the beard where there is light kind of, you know, popping out and kind of making it look like there's a gray hair there, cleaning up skin texture and tonality. And we want to also go in and do some color grading and also dodge and burn to areas that are a little bit dark. Because once we get into the color grading aspect, a lot of the detail within it will be somewhat kind of removed or kind of suppressed. So what we're going to do is hit straight up and head into the dodge and burn tool. We're going to then go in and start bringing some detail back into the eyes in different areas of the image. Also within this, I'm using the Wacom pen tablet that I got from Amazon. And I love using this simply because it's pressure sensitivity and it allows me to control the outcome of the result where I'm, you know, kind of heading for. We're just going to start brushing around that beard as well. And just bringing that detail back in there. Some areas we will push a little bit harder. Some areas we won't. And we can even go into this process of bringing or removing, you know, dark spots to the skin to make it a little bit more consistent. And that way we don't actually you lose the texture of the skin. Everything's just kind of staying intact. But we're still bringing those re results and diminishing areas that we don't want anymore. Okay, so we're going to back up just a little bit and I am going to also go in and just bring a little bit more detail into the pants. And if you're wondering, this is my friend Michael Abitonio. He is a content creator on TikTok and also Instagram. I'll link his link below that you can find him over on his socials. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is just zoom right back into where we were. And then what I'm going to do is remove some spots that are on the pants. Just those tiny little details make a lot of difference. Eh, I, I was going to remove the sweat spot, but I like it. I guess it adds a little bit of detail within the image. I am going to also just keep going around and clicking some of these results that I don't, these little areas that I want to kind of get a little bit more in consistency. Let's see, let's roll up a little bit. And what I'm going to do as well is add a little bit more dodge within this beard. I think we went a little bit too high in that regard, but it will all make sense once we keep continuing along. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I can get them back to you and answer them in the 
you know, first kind of like few hours of the video. Okay, so I like what we have right now. And this is a little before and this is a little after. All right. So what we're going to do is go up to the contrast, sorry, the adjustments tool. And we're just going to start bringing some contrast in there. And then I am going to head up to the actual, oh, let's go back. So what we're going to do is go up to the adjustments tool and go into the selective coloring and throughout the selective coloring portion, I'm just going to start editing the skin tones that I would like within the selective coloring. And we don't want to make too much of a dramatic result, but at the same time, we want to just keep it clean and consistent throughout the process. Well, actually, what we're going to do is just back up real quick, and I am going to show you how I want to go in and get a little bit of a better result within the cleaning aspect. So we're going to go over to the actions. I use a preset that is called the retouching essentials pack from a photographer named Prince Mason. If you want to check it out, click the description below and it will be a link to take you straight over to his website. But this allows me to be able to get a better and consistent result within the skin retouching process with it when it comes to tonality and also texture of skin. And one thing that I stress as well when it comes to the retouching process, especially with male skin, you want to be able to clean and get a very like beautiful natural result and i like to go in and actually diminish but not fully remove within the process of retouching as well so we're going to let this render we're going to click advanced frequency separation i'm going to bring my radius down to about a 4.2 gaussian blur and click ok And then I'm going to go back over into the layers panel and stroll down. Deselect the high frequency separation layer and click on the low frequency separation layer. I'm then going to go over to the tools panel, click the mix, mix brush tool and go up to the areas that I would like to start cleaning up. And simply with the Wacom pen tablet, start brushing over those areas to get a more consistent clean result and like i said when it comes to male skin i like to simply diminish but not fully remove things and characteristics and tonalities and textures but just simply bring it a little to a little bit more of a cohesive result Okay, so we're going to keep working down. And one thing that I stress as well when it comes to retouching, find a formula, find a workflow. One thing that I like to do is work from the top and work my way down to the bottom so it keeps me in line of where I'm going throughout the actual retouching process. And then also, another little tip, start to zoom in and out on certain aspects of the image so that your viewpoint is not just set to one thing, you know? And that way you can start 
keeping kind of track of the results that you're getting. And this is kind of a quick way to, you know, retouch. But at the same time, Michael has beautiful skin and it really doesn't really need anything. But I just want it to be more consistent in the texture and tonality that's already there. Okay, so I'm going to head over and I'm going to then reselect the high frequency separation layer. And I'm going to show you a quick before and after of the skin. So here's a quick before of where we started and a quick after. I'm going to hit in again and just show quick before and after. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is merge these together and go into the dodge and burn aspect just to bring different details out within. So I just want to bring the chest out a little bit more. Even just areas of the abdominals, but at the same time, just not doing it too much that it looks completely obvious, but at the same time, just bringing some more definition within that. And like I said before, when doing the color grading aspect, you're going to lose a little bit of that detail within certain areas. So it's just good to go in with the dodge and burn and kind of bring those out prior to that or kind of in that actual motion as well. And I'm just going to do a little bit of frequency separation on the pants as well, just to get some of those wrinkles out. And just brushing a little bit harder than usual. Okay. And we're just going to reselect the high frequency separation layer. So that's kind of like a little before and after. And also I can go in and tone down the opacity of what was done. Last but not least, we're going to finish up with the actual color grading aspect. What I like to do is kind of, you know, create a tone based off of, you know, skin texture, sorry, skin tone based off of clothing. I want to warm this image up just a little bit. So I'm going to go over to the adjustments panel and I am going to then start bringing some yellow tones back in and then also infusing it with a little bit of red. Now, one thing that's important as well when it comes to the color grading aspect is understanding undertones within skin. That is going to differ upon the actual subject, but if you can actually look at the person and kind of, you know, Mike right here is more of a yellowish red on undertone. So I'm going to infuse those things within, but also to bring it back to a proper balance, I'm going to also add the cyans and the blues and then just go in kind of tweaking as we go. So to bring a little bit more depth and dimension within this, I'm going to add a little bit of contrast And also, I am going to head to the selective coloring and start playing with my reds, my cyans, magentas, and yellows. So I want to, like I said, I want to add a little bit more warmth within it. So I'm going to take it down my cyans 19. I am also going to bring a little bit more cool tones back into the image with a little magenta. My yellows, I am going to bring up in a positive manner. And then also I want that sky and the hair to pop, being that his hair is like kind of a purplish blue. So I'm going to go in first with my cyans and just push those up a little bit. Play with the magentas, push that up a little bit as well. And 
go into my blues and repeat the process. And now that you can go dramatic with it, or you can kind of, you know, play it a little bit more safe and level down. Okay, so like right now I like the results, but we have a little bit too much saturation. So I'm gonna go back up to the adjustments panel and bring those saturations down just a little bit. I'll go to a negative 17. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is bring this contrast, sorry, the saturation down a little more. And I'm going to merge these together real quick. I then want to go into the blacks of this and I just want to bring the black portion up a little bit bring my yellows over well sorry my yellows down to about a negative four and see how that starts bringing a little bit more dimension within the image and then also what I'm going to do is go up to the cyan's and bring that down to about a negative four and if okay so here is a quick little before of where we started and here's the after so far so we got a little before let's go up to before and after of where we are so far and I'm pretty pleased with the results I think what I'm going to do after this is go into a little bit more of cleaning I might let's see I think I'm going to remove this light I wish it was positioned a little bit behind his shoulder but I think it's kind of distracting from the image so what I'm going to simply do is go in and select around it real quick And I'm using the quick selection tool to be able to do this. See that? And then I'm just going to draw around it. Bring that back. And we probably will get a, a messy result at the beginning. But what we're going to do is just clean this out with content aware fill. And then we can Photoshop around the rest of that particular area. Let's see, let's deselect some of this that's in here so we're not sampling around. Alrighty, so when I did the content aware feel, what you can see is that it removed that entire light fixture that's behind his head. So I'm gonna click OK and let it render and then, oops, what I'm going to do next is go into, let's go right here, go into cleaning this up a little bit. Oh, let me get you back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go up to the contra sorry, the cologne stamp tool, and I'm just going to start cleaning up these little edges. And it's multiple ways to do it, but it's just a quick, fast little way and method. I'm also going to go to the top of the head where we were and just blend that in just a little bit with a soft stroke brush. out a little bit turn down my opacity and 
then just start feathering and sampling around that area to make it a little bit more cleaner. All right, I'm gonna back off just a little bit. Alrighty, so I'm gonna show you a quick before, quick after of where we are. And what I want to do next is, you know what, I wanna frame his body up a little bit more. I wanna add a little bit of definition within it. So we're gonna go to the liquify tool and I just want to bring the waist in a little bit more, just a little bit more. Sometimes in positioning, things can look a little bit funny. So we're simply just going to zoom in and I wanna bring the hips out, but also be careful within this because we're going you know, against lined surfaces. And then I just wanna bring the waist in just a little bit and bring this up and out just a tiny bit. Just a small portion of body contour. Alrighty. Okay, so this is a quick before and quick after. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to tune in next for next week's episode of Retouching Tutorials with Chris over on my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you take something away from it. Be sure once again to click the subscribe button in the bio and then also click the link to check out my photography store where you can find Photoshop actions and presets, my photography lighting diagram booklets and booklets showing you ebooks showing you how to get the results that I get in my workflow. And I will see you guys back in the next video. We're out. Peace. Take care.